Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. Now in the last two parts we started working with the battling process where users can battle other users for gold and food. So now what I've done here is you may have already copied down some of these things. Um, these three variables I just changed their names just to avoid any confusion right now. But what's going to happen right now is battle one is equal to a query that subtracts the gold stolen for the user that we attacked. So that means that we've taken their gold. Now we also have to update our own gold to show that we have taken it. And then what we're going to do is insert a log of this battle into the database. So we have our attacker, which is us, our defender, which is the person we're attacking, our attacker damage, which is our attack effect, the defender damage, which is the defense effect, the gold stolen, zero for food stolen, because we haven't stolen any food in this type of battle, and then the time of the attack. Now, since we have the time of the attack here, I'm going over to stats.php. As you can see, we just have where attacker equals that and defender equals that. That just means the number of times they've actually fought. We also have to add and time is equal to, at our double quotes and periods here, we have time, whoopsie, time minus 86,000. 400. 86,400 seconds in a day, that's 24 hours, so where time is, sorry, um, less than, greater than, I believe. I don't know, we'll figure that out in a second, um, but that's basically what you need to show the attacks in the last 24 hours. So now what we're going to do here is we are going to actually finish up this little battle part and we have to stats gold is going to be plus equal to the gold that we stolen just to show local results even though that's not really going to make much of a difference. Um, now before we get into um, what I want to say before we get into the food portion I'm going to add uh, an else if just around here it doesn't necessarily matter if ID is equal to session user ID we're going to add then right here we're just going to sorry you may want to uh, format that a bit more this is seen that if you're attacking yourself obviously attacking yourself is the third sign of insanity the first two signs being talking to yourself and spying on yourself with eventually attacking yourself being the last sign of insanity which isn't necessarily a bad thing I mean hey People do it all the time. So you cannot attack yourself. Just to throw that in the mix, I will show you. Hey, let's try to attack myself. And I have... Oh, another thing we also have to update is the turns that they used. So if I say 10 turns, you cannot attack yourself. Because we forgot to subtract turns from our attack, that's what we also have to do. So we had a comma, turns equals to turns minus the number of turns. And I've actually put that in the wrong section. So if we copy and paste it into the right query, that should be that. So then we can also do stat turns minus equal to turns. 
and that will decrement the turns based on what we have. So now, if you remember in the last tutorial, we see that the attack is 10 for copophobia, and for test account, it, or the attack is 11, and for test account, the defense is 10. Now, if you remember the last tutorial, I spent 10 turns to attack him. I should steal 90 gold. So now what we're going to do is attack with 10 turns. If we wait for gold, there, we've stolen 90 gold. Now, as you can see, my gold before was 56. So 90 plus 56 should be 146, and I should have zero turns left. So as you can see now, my gold is 146, and my turns is zero. Now his gold should be 10, and his turns should be the same. So if we refresh this, his gold is 10, the turns are the same, my turns are zero, my gold is 146. Now if we go to logs, we can see that's the ID. Copophobia is one, test account is two. So one attacked, two, he dealt 10 damage, two defended with, or he dealt 11 damage, two defended with 10 damage, 90 gold was stolen, zero food was stolen, and there's the time. Now if we go back here, you'll see that within the last 24 hours, I attacked test account one out of five times. So we want to oppose this limit. And what we need to do here is let's also, oh, I don't know. Where should we add this? Um, we can what should we do here um jeez oh you know what here's what we're going to do um we're going to add a php here and we're going to say if my sql num rows of this is greater than or equal to 5 then we are just going to PHP we're just gonna throw this down here so now um, whoopsie uploading the videos still I'm trying I'm going don't rush me so now what we're gonna do is we are going to I don't know. Let's just modify this. I don't know. Um, okay, that didn't do anything. So now what we're going to do is let me just copy down this time. So we have our insert, and we're just going to do that. Two, one, two, eleven, ten, ninety, zero, things like that. 3, 1, 2, 11, 10, 90, 0. We save that and we go back to insert. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 11, 10, 90, 0. And we also have this time. We have 5, 1, 2, 11, 10, 90, 0. And we also have this. So now as you can see, there's a total of five rows where attacker one has attacked defender two. So now this should be five out of five. And what we've done is, actually let's just change this to less than five. So now what we've done is, if this is five, we're not going to show this at all. As you can see, five out of five. And this right here, array, we have to change. Good catch, good catch, s user, username. Right there, that's what we have to change. If we refresh this, you'll see now test account. But now, if I were to delete this, yes, we refresh the page, it's four out of five, we can now attack him.
So that solves the five attacks per 24 hour limit that we were originally going to include. So I have about five minutes left. I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing right here into food. Now this is essentially going to stay all the same up until we get to here. Instead of gold stolen, we're going to have food stolen. We're going to change the gold to food there. Change the gold to food here. Food there. Food. 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 So many freaking foods. Now. And here we change the gold stolen to, let me just shift that over here, get rid of that. The gold stolen is now zero and we have food stolen. Then we just update this with food and we're updating their food. And that's that. So now, hold on, now we're going to test this and we go back to test account so let's just say I have again this should be close to that you know 90 percent well the food is 100 so we're going to see that we're probably going to steal 90 food let me just let me just go for a second Okay. Okay, whatever. So now we have 10. If we raid for food, 11 damage, 10 damage, we stole 90 food. If you go back here, sorry, 10 should be 0, food should be uh, 166, I think. Food here should be 10. If we go back, 10, 0, 166. Now we go to logs. You can see here, we've stolen 10 food and 10 gold. So if we go back here, 5 out of 5. This concludes attack tutorial. In the last part of this main tutorial, I will go over cron jobs, which is probably one of the most important things. So see you in the next tutorial.